Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing Laplace transform, effect of multiplication by t, problem number 4. Welcome back friends, let's move on and let's discuss the fourth problem, t cube cos t. What's difficult in it? Nothing. The only thing is we need to differentiate it thrice. So that is the only problem. If you are comfortable with the differentiation part, I think this problem is very simple. Let us begin. Here we have t cube cos t. So let's move on. Again the same thing. Forget about the property, effect of multiplication by t. Leave it aside. Keep it aside for some time. Cos t Laplace is s upon s square plus 1 by effect of multiplication by t Laplace of t cube into cos t. Yes, please. Cos t Laplace is s upon s square plus 1 and due to this t cube, we gonna differentiate with respect to s thrice. That's it. Laplace is done. Now here onwards, if you know the derivative differentiation part, your work is done. You'll get full marks for this. Laplace is done. But uh, be patient. Be with me. I'm going to solve three differentiation for you. So just concentrate on board because the calculations are a bit uh, lengthy here. So let me solve it for you people. So just have a look on the board. Minus 1 cube is what? Minus 1 only. So here minus 1 will come outside. I am going to apply one differentiation out of 3. 2 will be outside. I am applying one differentiation. This will be u by v rule. This is my u and this is my v. So u by v rule is applicable. What the rule says? v square. Denominator square. s square plus 1 the whole square. v as it is. That means s square plus 1 as it is derivative of u s a derivative is 1 minus u as it is s as it is derivative of v s is square plus 1 derivative is 2s so this is u by v rule let us simplify it because we want to calculate or we want to find out two more derivatives so let's simplify this this will be s is square plus 1 this is minus 2s square upon s square plus 1 the whole square which will be equal to minus 1 outside d square upon ds square if you observe this term it is s square minus 2s square s square minus 2s square means minus s square simple s square minus 2s square is minus s square and this one will remain as it is in the denominator, we have s square plus 1, the whole square. What next? Again, u by v. I am going to apply one derivative. One will be outside and one will be inside. I am going to apply one differentiation. Again, u by v rule. Numerator is u, denominator is v. What the rule says? Denominator square. So, it will be s square plus 1 raised to 4. v square, v as it is means s square plus 1 the whole square as it is into derivative of u 1 minus s square derivative 1 derivative is 0 minus s square derivative is minus 2s minus v minus u as it is that means 1 minus s square as it is a derivative of s square plus 1 the whole square it will be 2s square plus 1 Chain rule fx raised to n n fx raised to n minus 1 into s square plus 1 derivative is 2s. What next? Similar way, the way we solved t square sin t, similar steps. s square plus 1 is common. See here. Here it is 1, here it is 2. You can take s square plus 1 common from this. inside from these two we took one outside we left with one inside into minus 2s and here 
this we have already taken out will be left with 1 minus s square this one into 2 into 2s will become 4s upon s square plus 1 raised to 4 this will be cancelled 3 let us open the bracket this will be minus 1 d by ds let us open the bracket this will be minus 2s cube this will be multiplied to both the terms minus 2s if we multiply this this will be minus 4s of this minus 1 into 4s so minus 4s minus minus plus s square into 4s will become 4s cube upon s square plus 1 the whole cube next so this is minus 1 d by ds let us simplify it further this is minus 2s cube this is 4s cube 4 minus 2 will be 2 so here it will be 2s cube minus 4 and 2 will be 6s upon s square plus 1 the whole cube what next one more derivative is left that we need to solve here it will be minus 1 again u by v rule this is u this is v again u by v rule and what the rule says denominator square we need to go ahead and we need to solve u by v rule this will be a square plus 1 raised to 6 because it's square of 3 so 3 square will be 6 v square then v as it is v as it is means a square plus 1 the whole cube as it is into 2s cube minus 6s a derivative 2s cube derivative is what 2 constant s cube is 3s square so in short it will be 6s square minus 6 minus u as it is 2s cube minus 6s as it is derivative of v denominator derivative s square plus 1 the whole cube derivative will be what 3 into s square plus 1 the whole square into 2s the same rule we applied fx raised to n n fx raised to n minus 1 into derivative of fx s square plus 1 derivative is 2s now if you observe these two terms we need to take something common see here what we take what we took common here is s square plus 1 why because s square plus 1 was there here if you observe see these two terms and tell me what will be the common here come on fast what will be common here see here here it is 3 here it is 2 so how much how many will come out 2 if you take common this will be minus 1 we gonna take s square plus 1 the whole square common because here here it is 2 here it is 3 in the de denominator it will be s square plus 1 raised to 6 from 3 you took 2 outside will be left with 1 inside next this term will remain as it is this we have already taken out this will be as it is and this is already gone so this will be 6s this will be cancelled will be left with 4 this will be minus 1 inside we need to do some calculations we need to open the brackets and we need to simplify it so let's do it now this will be a bit uh, hectic but uh, we have to do it 6s square multiplied to both the terms 6 will be multiplied to both the terms 6s square into s square means 6s raised to 4 plus 6s square now minus 6 will multiply it minus 6s square minus 6 here it will be 12 s raised to 4 6s into 2s cube so that will be 12 s raised to 4 and this minus sign and then this minus and minus will become plus will get 36s square this minus minus will become plus 6s 6s will be 36s square upon s square plus 1 raised to 4 that will be equal to minus 1 let us simplify s square plus 1 raised to 4 this will be cancelled 
and we left with the six s raised to four c here. This is six s raised to four. This is minus twelve s raised to four. Six minus twelve will be minus six. So this will be minus six s raised to four. This term and this term plus thirty six s square minus six. If you take this minus outside, minus inside. That will become six s raised to four minus thirty six s square plus six upon s square plus one raised to four. Further, if you want to take six common from the numerator, you can do it and you can simplify it further. Okay, so this is the solution for t cube cos t. The problem is anyhow very big, so it may come in the exam for six marks. But can you make it eight marks? Yes. How? Just add one FSP. Let me add e raised to minus two t. So what will be the difference to the solution? S will be shifted by plus two. So this will become s plus two, s plus two, s plus two, and so on. Hope this is clear. We're done with it. Laplace. It's done here only. After that, it's derivative. Thank you.